sashen Hausa na BBC ke magana akan mita 13 da mita 16 da kuma wasu tashoshin FM a wasu kasashen Afirka ko a shafe mu na bbchausa.com masu saurare Haruna Shehutan Gaza ne ke muku sallama a cikin shirin namu na karfe 3 daidai a gogon Najeriya da Niger wato biyu daidai kenan a gogon GMT da Ghana to a cikin shirin namu na yanzu za ku ji cewar al'amura sun tsaya cik a wasu sassan Isra'ila sakamakon wani yajin aikin game gari da aka kira domin tilasta gwamnati cin mai jeje na sako yahuda wanda ake tsare da su a Gaza a Tunisia an haramta wasu yan takara uku tsayawa takara tare da shugaba Kais Said a zaben da za a yi a watan gobe a daidai lokacin da rahotanni ke cewa an kama wani dan takarar na daban a Najeriya kuwa wasu mutane goma da ake zargi da shirya zanga zanga tsadar rayuwa da aka yi a watan jiya sun sake bayyana a gaban kotu a yau a babban birnin kasar har ma bukatar abada su beli ta janyo muhawara muka kuma mika kokin a ba su beli saboda su shirya yadda za su kare kansu wannan yasa aka dan samu muhawarori da yawa a kotu wadda shi alkalin ya dage ba da su beli hukumomin mulkin soja a jamhuriyar Niger sun sanar da kama wasu sabbin babura sama da 600 wadanda suka ce an shigo da su kasar ta Barone hanya da nufin kai wa yan bindiga sai dai wasu yan kasar na nuna shakku babura ne na roba wa'anda ma ta ke amfani da su ba irin wa'anda yan ta'adda ke aiki da su ne ba wanda ke son ya kaima yan ta'adda wa'annan babura ta har ya biyo a cikin ya mai zance ne wanda bai kama hankali to za ku ji karin bayani kan wadannan da ma wasu amma duk sai bayan shan labaran duniya tare da Ibrahim Yusuf Muhammad shugaban kungiyar kwada goma fi girma Isra'ila ya bayyana cewa dubban mutane ne suka nuna rashin jin dadin su ta hanyar shiga wani yajin aikin game gari da aka kira domin tilasta wa gwamnatin kasar cin mai rijejeniyar kudutar da mutanen da aka garkuwa da su a Gaza inda suka ce dole ne Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu ya dauki alhakin mutuwar mutane hus shida da aka garkuwa da su a kudancin Gaza ranar Asabar dan uwan daya daga cikin mutane da suka mutu ya ce yana sa ran zanga zangar za ta yi tasiri kan gwamnatin kasar I really hope that this is a turning point that that would mean that for the Yace ina fatan wannan zai zama wani mataki da zai kawo sauyi wanda zai nuna cewa an Isra'ila ba za su lamunci dorewar wannan lamari ba kuma ita gwamnati za ta ga ya kamata ta amince da wannan yarjejeniya cikin gaggawa Hukumar zabe ta kasa a Tunisia ta ki amincewa da yan takara uku a zaben shugaban kasar da za a yi a watan gobe duk da cewa babbar hukumar shari'a ta kasar ta ce za su iya tsayawa takara amma dai hukumar ta amince da wasu yan takara uku ciki har da shugaba Kais Said an kuma samu rahoton cewa wato jami'an tsaro sun cika hannu da daya daga cikin yan takaran da aka tantance a yaci Zamel da safiyar yau litinin matakin da baya bayan nan da yana iya kara karfafa damuwar da yan adawa ke da ita inda suke ganin cewa tsarin zaben zai taimakawa shugaba Said wanda bake zargi da mulkin Kamakariya tun bayan da ya kwace cikakken iko da bangaren zartaswa na kasar shekaru uku da suka gabata Shugaban Russia Vladimir Putin ya bayyana kutsin da Ukraine ke yi a yankin Kursk a matsayin wani mataki ne na yunkurin daki le nasarorin da dakarunsa ke samu a gabashin Ukraine Mr Putin ya bayyana dakarun Ukraine a matsayin an fashin daji da ya kamata a takawa birki Vladimir Putin is keen to shift Russian's focus away from a Wakili BBC ita ce Vladimir Putin na kokarin karkatar da hankalin yan Russia daga rashin nasarar da yake a yankin Kursk inda ya bayyana wa ɗan makaranta a Siberia cewa Ukraine na yunkurin kawo wa dakarun su cikas ne a kutsin da suke yi a yankin Donbas inda suka mama ya sassa da dama tunda farko dai magajin garin Kiev Vitali Klitschko ya ce Russia ta kai hari ka da makamai masu din zami a wata tashar jirgin kasa da ake amfani da ita a matsayi matsugunar ɗan gudun hijira da kuma wata cibiyar ta ce ruwan sha to labarin na zuwa muku ne daga nan sashen Hausa na BBC Bangladesh ta ce ana bukatar tallafin gaggawa daga kasashen duniya domin shawo kan bullar cututtuka masu yaduwa a cikin ruwa bayan da ambaliyar ruwa ta yi barna a makon da ya gabata wanda ya sanar da mutuwa mutane 50 yayin da miliyoyi suka rasa tsaftaccen ruwan sha a makon da ya gabata ne dai aka samu rahoton cewa mutane 2500 sun kamu da cututtuka ko kuma sun jikkata yankunan da ambaliyar ta shafa rahotannin cikin gida sun ce jami'an Bangladesh na zargin India da laifin janyo ambaliyar wadda ita ce mafi muni da kasar ta fuskanta a cikin shekaru 30 
suna masu cewa hakan ya faru ne sakamakon bude wani madatsin ruwa da kasar ta yi ba tare da wata sanarwa ba Delhi dai ta watsi da rahotan nan a matsayin marasa tushe balle madafa Hukumomi a jihar Uttar Pradesh dake arewacin India sun ce sun kare kaimi wajen kamo sauran kirkeci biyu daga wani garken da su kashe mutane bakwai a cikin makon da ya gabata a harin na baya bayan nan dai an kashe wani yaro dan shekara shida da safiyar Lahadi yayin da yake kwana a waje tare da yan gidan su 200 armed personnel and forestry officials are now searching for the animals. BBC da ce kimanin mutane 200 ne dauke da makamai tare da jami'an kula da gandun daji ke farautan dabbobin bayan da suka kama hudu ta hanyar amfani da jirage marasa matuka da kuma kemarori. Ba dai ka safai ne kirkeci ke kashe mutane ko dabbobin gida ba. Masana da yana cewa irin wannan hara-haran na zuwa ne saboda matsananciyan yunwa dake addabar dabbobin sakamakon rasa matsugunansu saboda sauyin yanayi da kuma rashin isassun namun daji. To ga shan labaran duniyan kenan daga nan sashen Hausa na BBC. To an gaida Ibrahim Yusuf Muhammad da karanto labaran duniya daga nan sashen Hausa na BBC. To yanzu kuma sai rahotanni inda zamu faro daga kasar Isra'ila. Al'amura sun tsaya cik a wasu sassan kasar ta Isra'ila sakamakon wani yajin aikin ga magari da aka kira domin tilastawa gwamnati cin marjejeje sako Yahuda wannan da ake tsare da su a Gaza sai dai kuma yajin aikin bai ta siri ba a wasu sassan kasar ga rahotun Aisha Sharif Bakfa shugaban kungiyar kwadugon ya ce daruruwan mutane ne suka taka da kafafun su wajen bin sauyin yajin aikin ga magarin da aka kira don tursasa gwamnati akan da cin berjejeni ya sakin wadanda akai garkuwa da su a Gaza shugaban kungiyar wato Histadrod Anon Ba David ya bayar da umarnin cewa kowa ya koma bakin aiki idan karfe biyu da rabi na yammaci a gogon kasar ta yi masu zanga zangar sun ce dole prime minister kasar Benjamin Netanyahu ya dauki halakin mutuwar mutun shida nan da aka gano da aka garkuwa da su a kudancin Gaza a ranar Asabar Fliu Hassan Nahum jakada ce ta musamman a ma'aikatar harkokin wajen Isra'ila ta ce kuskure ne a dora alhakin rashin cimmar irjejeniya da Hamas akan gwamnatin Isra'ila The erroneous assumption is that somehow it's Israel that is fully responsible for holding back a deal I don't believe that actually Kuskuren tunanin da ake yi shine Isra'ila ce kadai ke da alhakin hana cimmar irjejeniyar ban yi imani da hakan ba An yi wa Hamas ta yin wannan irjejeniyar ba sau daya ba sau biyu ba Sannan a koda yaushe suna kawo uzuri na daban akan irjejeniyar ba ni ce na fada hakan ba Antony Blinken ma ya fada wanda ke cikin yarjejeniyar tun da farko idan haka idan za mu ci gaba da dora wa gwamnatin Isra'ila lifi ba Hamas ba gaskiya akwai matsala tace tana fatan Benjamin Netanyahu zai duban tsanaki akan wannan lamuri ba tare da sanya san zuciya ba I'm not sure he's the blocking point I I would like to think that the prime minister is acting in the best interest of all the citizens in the country bane da tabbaci akan cewa yana hanarwa gudu amma ina so ku sani cewa prime minister na yin duk wani abu ne don al'umar sa da kuma kasar sa ba daidai bane a ce shugaba na yin abu don son zuciyar sa ya cin aikin ga magarin yau litinin wanda babbar kungiyar kwaduwan kasar ta kira shine irin sa na farko tun bayan da aka fara yakin Gaza a wata Oktoba bara kuma ya haifar da tsaiko a gaba da harkokin kasuwanci da dai sauran su rotanni sun ce shugaban Amurka Joe Biden zai yi aiki akan bayanin da ya samu daga kasar sa don cimma matsayar da ta dace an gaida Aisha Sharif Bafa da wannan rahotun to daga Isra'ila sai Nigeria inda kamfanin mai na kasar NNPC yace yanzu yana fuskantar matsalar kudi ta yadda ba zai iya shigo da tataccin man petrol ba zuwa cikin kasar yanzu haka dai wannan lamarin ya fara janyo doga layuka a gidajin mai sakamakon karancin sa wakili muna Lagos Umar Shehu Eliman na dauki da cikin labarin babban kamfanin NPC ya ce wannan matsala ta taso bayan zuzurutun bashin da ya baibaye shi daga dillallan man petrol na kasa da kasa na kudi da ya haura dala biliyan shida inda yace hakan ya sa kamfanin na NPC ke
Ti ya che, wana masala tata so bayan zuzuru tumbashi nde de bebe ye shida ga dila lama petu na kasada kasa. Na kut ide ya haura adala bilia shida. Inde ya che haka nyasa kampani na NPC ke tepa putu gani anchi ki gipi inde ki sakani di di topara shima petu da kumache ni kensa adunia. Wana la mari yae pade shaku da rudu uchikin haruko ki man petu musamman gamida makuba para shima petu a Nigeria. Haka nkamweda bichikia nuna ya saa ba asamu isa shiva mpitu a Nigeria. La marinda ya haiparda doga yela yuka mai a gira jamai. Bobor par gabar anang ache war company shini yedi Nigeria zati chikabada asamu da mpitu. Ga enk asara idang harbashi nge chikabada karuwa. Saka miwuyada company NNPC ya saa mkasa achiki na ia haiparda haho parashi mpitu. Wanda zik ara taazara mawu ya chenga hali da ena jira sike chiki. Kampani nde yarika saida mani a parashi me sawi ii. Tu ama kamayada masana suka nuna. Edengedena biya ngibi nkuti parashi ngeze iya hawra wa samada nera dubu dea kankuo chilita. Wasura watanina chewa na jiri atasha masi ya baya don chire itala fi mampetro. Dena utala ntariki akaikachi wanda haka ngaya padda kare parashi mampetro. Dila lama mampetro masu zaman kazu na ikira kode a sabada chika kinsari ntepeda al amura ngachini kaya mampetro. Kaisi kukuma akuma gaz ari baile itala fi mampetro. Sabu da achi warsu sari nda aiki chiki ayanzu ba mei uri wa bani. Kampani NNPC ya ya lkawari ingan ta sama da man petur. Sidi hari yanzu la mwari na kara taparbari wani. Inda a wasugira jiman petur. Akan seda kuwa chi liter man petur daya sama da nera dubu daya. Kampani ndi lanchi la bari na roita siyachi. Ana sara na jeria zata kashi dela trilio mbiyada igu hudu. Abana. Kota kwa chidela Amerika bilion ukuda igwa bakwe. Kashi hamsin chikin erifi eda na shikara ta dubu wida ashirda uku. Donde di ta parashi man petur. Ya intaki karurbashi do toshi gibi kasabi nkudenta. Iji wanitapta rime do kida wana nabayane a watayuni. Omar Shehu Eleman BBC Hausa daga Lagos a Nigeria. Tu harwa yewu a Nigeria. Ana tapka za zapo muhawara. Sa kama konzer ginda aka yi chiwa ba bambankin kasar CBN. Ya saya wa manyan jami ansa manyan motu china alparma. Adidi loka chenda kasar ki pamada masin tatelan arziki. Kwengere yaki da chenghanchi da risha wa taasis lak. Na deda ga chikan watanda ki tada jijia ruya kalamarin. Tana chiwa saye motu chen adidi wana loka chen. Alama chede ke nuna chiwa ba bambankin na jere ya beda muda makumari yang kasar ba. Zide kawo yanzu ba bambankin na na jere ya CBN. Baimai na martani yi kan wannan batun ba. Gara hotun Aisha Aliyu Ja'far. Kungiyar Sislak mai yaki da cin hanci da rashawa ta yi Allah wa daida abin da ta kira kashe-kashen kudi da almubazzaranci da shugabancin babban bankin Najeriya ke yi a baya bayan nan. Sislak ta yi zargin cewa gwamnatin CBN ya mika dosu da mataimakon mataimakon sa sun kashe dukiyar al'umma kimanin naira biliyan 10 wajen sayan motocin alfarma da harsashi ba ya hudawa har guda shida. Awal musaraf sanjani shine shugaban kungiyar ta Sislak. Idan wadannan makudan kudi da aka fito da su ake wannan siyan motocin Alatu da Alfarma da Gadara a hakika kan suna da matsayi ko kuma suna da shafuwa ga yanda ake albazar manci a Najeriya na kashe dukiyar gwamnati a daidai lokacin da arzikin kasan shi da kansa yake cikin wani yanayi kuma yan kasa su ma suna fama da matsalan lambar rayuwa na abinci da magunguna da kudin makarantu da kudin haya da gidajen su da dai sauran abebadan bukatu da abebadan mura rayuwa su jami'an gwamnatin suke ci gaba da karkashe kudade ba buƙaccen tausayi ko kuma laakari da yenda jamaar kasa ki pama da rashin tauro da tauran su so shin baka gani mu sai wadannan motocin na taimaka musu wurin gudanar da ayi kan siyar da ya kamata wadannan motoci kan siyar ne ba wai dan a yi aiki a a dan a hau ne a ji dadi yara a yi ko a nuna cewa an isa mu dai anan najeriya an dai dau da ta wata hanya kawai ta wawar kudi ta bata kudi ta ta rashin adalci wasu shedu ne kuke da su da yake nuna babban bankin najeriya cbn na kashe wadannan makudan kudaden ai ba koyo ba suke ba wadda wadannan wanda yake didiyan yanda ake tafi da hada hadar yan irin wadannan alatu motocin alatu za a gane a fili suke ba waya koyo suke ba kuma su da kansu da fito sun ce suke kare ta ba tunda gashi an ya gane kuma abun tukaiti shine sai kullun a shekara sai a ce za a sai wadannan motoci kuma sai ka rasa me aka da motocin da aka ziya bara 
Sislak and Takuma Bukachi Jami and Gomnati the Suguji Kashi Kudi Babisa Kaida Ba Domanta Tala Kudan Gomnati. So Matakanda Lama Dokarishi name Chigori Kelan Su Dan C I don't see Tabata the Kantua Basit Amana Bukia the Akabas Arukoba, some of the Idang Ansaka A Gomnati, I Amana Akabaka Bawe, Ambakani, Dama Kabuke Wawaraka and Dama Kabawe, Agokuma I ring you mutani follow animus colili animus who anas of and uh the two summons to kuma wahala the reshin jin that in laywa wiki bada shawara kanchiwa a dao the mutala uh no jan in government uh either muta would that either are in the sea we uh one and the hana then the aki sa as the well put in the aki karbana sang mokiti so I mean put in ma aki kashwaba and I didn't cast me. Not into be me magana daya um bumbankin Nigeria C B and to hang your Ike Mata the Sauko, Kumahazu alok and had a one another hotum but a may domin da am saba, kuma a hukuman chit tinda aka suma one nan zargin C B and Batamay da Mertaniba and that the anazar gimman yen jami angomna ti de yen rayu wa tak a saita tayan amfani da du ker al uma kuma wanan zargin na zuwa ne a daidai lokacin da yan kasar ke fama da matsanan cin talauci sakamakon janye tallafin mai da gwamnatin Tinubu ta yi a bara Aisha Ali Jafar da kasashen Hausa na BBC a Abuja Nigeria to yanzu agogo a Abuja Nigeria na cewa karfe 3 ne da kwata haka yake a yamaita jamhuriyar Niger Haruna Shehu Tangazani ki gabatar muku da wannan shirin daga nan sashen Hausa na BBC. Baya ga sauraron mu ta internet a bbchausa.com. Za a iya sauraron mu akan wayar salula a kowane lokaci ake bukata. To nan gaba a cikin shirin zamu ji karin bayani game da wani hari da mayakan Boko Haram suka kai a jihar Yobe ta Najeriya. Amma yanzu bari mu je Jamhuriyar Niger. Hukumami mulkin soji a Niger sun sanar da yin wani babban kamu na wasu sabbin babura sama da 600 wadanda suka ce an shigo da su cikin kasar ta barauniyar hanya da nufin kai wa wasu yan bindiga ko da yake hukumomin sun nuna wa jama'a ilahirin baburan da suka kama yan kasar na ganin wasu yan kasar na ganin farfaganda ce kawai ga rahotun da cima ile sufu ta aiko mana babura ko mota na 600 ne wani rahoto na gidan television ta kasar RTN ya nuno a matsayin wani babban kamu da dakarun tsaron karsar suka yi a tsakiyar makon jiya baburan dai an shigo da su ne ta barauniyar hanya da nufin karfafa karfin kungiyoyin yan bindiga masu da awar jihadi in ji wannan rahoto wannan kame da hukumar kwasam koduwan ta yi a birnin yamai na zama babban koma baya ga kungiyoyin masu aikata laifuka da ke neman ta da zauna tsaye a kasar tare da jidar da kudurin mahukuntan kasar na yaki da rashin tsaro kamar yadda ministan harkokin cikin gida jinar Muhammadu Tumba wanda ya ziyarci wurin da aka gabatar da baburan ya bayyana tare da ya bawa irin wannan jajircewa da jami'an tsaro ke yi na kare kasar tare kuma da bayyana illar da wannan ka iya haifarwa ga tsaron kasar kokarin da Alhaji Salisu Ahmadu shugaban kungiyar Grazgayya ya yaba da shi yana cewa daman daman tsaron mu yau da gobe har ya kulla halin mutane ne masu jajjawa ba su kan aiki an san su da irin wannan kwamal dan dai ana ba su karfin guyuwa da kuma kayan aikin na zamani wannan ba karaman alheri bane ba wanda ya zamanto duka in a ce za a ga kullun makwantan mugu kan su aikata mugun abu ana samu ana tsedin romiya kan abin yaje a gare su na daito kon nabiyu wannan abubuwan a yau ya kamata kowa ya gane kowa sai ya zama dan sanda ko ya ya zama soji sai mu ce wannan ba karamin jajircewa bane suka yi kuma muna fatan wannan abin zai ci gaba kuma a ci gaba da kiyayewa a yi bincike shin wannan abin a ko wasu sun riga sun huce ko kuma a ko wasu a baya bincike ne ya kamata ayyuka ta ka tsantsan hallo a ci gaba da kiyayewa Wada nan babura da suka taso daga tashar ruwa dake gabarta kungi ne zuwa Niger ba bisa ka'ida ba basu bi kuma ka'ida ba in ji hukumar kasar ta Jamhuriyar Niger da suka kara da cewa da wadannan babura za iya jigilar yan bindiga kusan dubu daya ko tankwacin bataliya guda su kutum illa da za su yi kuma ka iya haifar da mummunan sakamako in ji hukumomin na Jamhuriyar Niger 
sai dai a cewar malamin Siraji Isa na kungiyar Mojel baburan ma ba irin wadanda yan bindiga ke amfani da su bane baburra ne na roba wa'anda mata ke amfani da su ba irin wa'anda yan ta'addar ke aiki da su ne ba sannan kuma ba a godi wanda dalilin shi ko in ce gare shi aka samu wa'annan baburra sannan kuma mun gano da cewa shi wannan dan kasuwa bai biyo hanyar da suke so ba bakin teku na lumi kenan duk dan kasuwar da bai biyo wannan hanya ba kamar ya bujire musu ne kuma suna iya su dauki mata kai alika mi shi kashin kaji wanda ke son ya kai ma yan ta'addawa annan babura na roba ya biyo tun 